Hey, what's up, Gimper friends? David Wood here for David Wood FX with another awesome GIMP tutorial for you. And in this one, we are creating a three-dimensional ice text effect, which you can see here. This is a Photoshop tutorial, and it's a request on the Gimper.net forum. So, we'll get started right away. First thing, though, you are going to need a GIMP plugin or script called Plastirap. And I'll have a link in the description. Click the download button. And it gives it a really cool shrink wrapped effect. You can see the before and after pictures. And this is, it uh, replicates the plastic wrap filter in Photoshop. So download that, put it in your script folder, and restart GIMP. So let's get started. First thing, I'm going to create a new image. And I'm just going to use 800 by 600. So I can delete that one. There we go. And next, we're going to take the gradient tool, and I've made a custom gradient that the tutorial originally called for. It's called Ice Blue, and I'll upload that somewhere for you guys. And what you have to do is go to the top of your image and click and drag down, and hold down the Control key or Command on Mac, and that restrains it by five degree angle, so you get a nice straight line, and drag to the bottom. Okay. Next, we are going to create some text, and I'm using Lithos Pro Heavy, and I'm just going to type ice, and just center that up. What do you know? I got that on. Nice. All right, and then we can just take the layer, go to layer, image, layer to image size, and that converts it to a normal layer. And we want to place that just a little bit below this center line of the gradient where it's the brightest. That's kind of like where the wall meets the floor. And what you need to do is go to Filters, Distorts, Eye Warp. And this is, this is if you're using a different font. font. Um, just take the brushes and just kind of make it look a little more blocky. You can just kind of go around the text with it. Just like this, but that's not what I want to do. With other fonts, that is necessary though. This one already looks cool, it looks like the Ice Age font, so I'm just going to leave it alone. And what we need to do is go over to the Layers panel, select the layer, and choose the Lock Alpha Channel button, or checkbox right there, and then go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Solid Noise. And then here, Turn on randomize, detail to three, bring the size all the way up for both of them, and hit OK. And then what we need to do is right click on the layer, choose alpha to selection, and then go to edit, stroke selection. And stroke line will do about six. Uh, make sure it's set to black, and hit OK, or stroke, and then select none. Then what you need to do is uncheck the lock alpha channel button and go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, and give it a blur of five. <clears throat> Just like that. Now is where that script comes in, and you can go to filters, light, shadow, plaster wrap, and take the neon radius and set it to three or four. Uh, hit OK. It's a pretty awesome filter. And there's another tutorial over on gimptalk.net.com, and I'll have a link for that in the description. Okay, so there it is. It looks shrink-wrapped, kind of glossy. What we need to do, because it's given us this weird edge, we need to go to Colors, Levels, and then the channel, go to the Alpha, take the black channel and push it over. Don't push it all the way over, because then it will remove the entire thing. So, that's a warning for you guys. And hit OK. Alright, still a little bit goofy right there. I can just take the paintbrush and remove that. Alright, and just right click and merge that down. Now, what we need to do is take the background, duplicate that, right click on the second one, choose Add Alpha Channel, take the text, right click on that, go to Alpha to Selection. Hit Control i or Command-I to inverse the selection. Select the background layer and hit Delete. And then Control-Shift-A or Command-Shift-A on Mac. Alright, 
There we have it on. There we go, we've removed it. And then take the ice layer, change the blend mode to overlay, and duplicate it. I'm duplicating it twice. And then right click and choose Merge Visible Layers. Alright, now we can duplicate it again. Take the second one, we will rename it Reflect, and we'll shut that off. And we'll duplicate the background, or we'll duplicate this ice layer once again. Take the bottom one, and we'll go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur. And we want to set it to Zoom, turn the blur outward off, and the length to 15. Okay, see the effect there? Now take this background layer and duplicate it several times. And then right click and choose Merge Visible Layers. Merge. Okay, now we can turn the background layer back on and you can see there's the effect. And remember we duplicated, or we have this Reflect layer, which now we will use by going to Layer, Transform, Flip Vertically, and then take the Move tool and just push it down and hold down control to constrain it and move it down to right about there and then we go to layer layer to image size and then we duplicate this layer take the bottom layer go to filters repeat motion blur duplicate this layer several times shut off the other layers and right click and choose merge visible layers merge and then we can turn the other ones back on take this reflect layer and you can just drag it between the background layer. we'll rename this layer ice um, we have to take the reflect one and move it in between the other layers but Camtasia will not let me do that so I'm just going to stack lower layer and now it's underneath it much better and then we can take this layer Right click, choose Add Layer Mask, choose White, then click Add. And then we go to the Gradient tool and select the foreground and background color. Make sure the colors are default, black and white. And with this kind of layer, white, or with this kind of mask, white is opaque and black is transparent. So start at the bottom, click, drag, and remove some of that layer. Uh, you can lower the opacity if you want. Just gonna move that down just a little bit. Looks cool. All right, now what we need to do is take the background layer, uh, select the background layer, hit the new layer button, transparent's fine. Go to filters, recently used. Got or not? Gosh, you blur solid noise. <clears throat> Leave the settings alone again. Hit OK, and then we want to turn on the ice layer. Uh, grab the scale tool click on it, click on the new solid noise layer, and drag that down. So it's just a little bit past the 3D edge of that. Right about there. <clears throat> there you have it. Go to Filters, Render, Clouds, Difference Clouds. Leave the settings alone, hit OK. There we go. And then go to Colors, invert and set the blend mode to overlay and then just lower the opacity of that and then also just take the gradient tool uh, add a layer mask again white only this time drag from the top here down hold down shift just remove that sharp edge and there we go looks pretty cool so, um, I guess that's it for this tutorial. You could add additional effects, such as icicles hanging from the background, maybe some cracks down in here. I won't go into that, but uh, that is all there is to that effect. Pretty simple, pretty cool, and I hope you guys can find a use for it. Alright, so I'm David Wood, David Wood FX, and I'll see you guys next time.